Hello and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, nice to meet you. My name is Reya and I'm a huge makeup and skincare addict. Today, as you see from the title, we are going to do first impressions of the Beauty Bay Earthy palette, which looks like this. And here are the swatches. Okay, so this is the look that I did with it and at the end of the video you will see my first, imp first impression review of the palette and um, if you like these kind of videos please give it this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new upload and let's go put some makeup on. Okay, let's start putting some makeup on and as you saw from the intro, we are using the Beauty Bay Earthy palette today. I have the 42 pan version of it and for the top part, I'm using uh, seaweed, then shamrock and then apple and lastly dress so we'll go from there and if you haven't saw, seen my last video i'd like to apologize that if i move weirdly that uh, different that i have moved before or i look somewhere where i sh shouldn't be looking it's because i started to film with my back camera on my phone because it's very much better quality better camera also if you hear coughing or sneezing my son is sick again he has third laryngitis in six months and we are thinking it might be because the uh, air in the school is it, it there's something wrong with it and it, they're starting to renovate the school uh, this summer so we'll see then that what happens if he start, stops getting those laryngitis all the time okay so we'll start with the seaweed and i'm taking this kind of just a brush this is 317 wing liner i am affiliated with chesop i'll put the code in the screen you also get 15 percent off your order and all the rest of my affiliated links are in the description box so uh, also i primed with abh eye primer and now we'll take the seaweed let's see if i need to move the camera a bit so I'm starting to map out the shape here. So since I'm doing a cut crease again, it doesn't matter. Uh, the low lower part doesn't matter because it will be cleaned. Then I'll clean my brush a bit to the color switcher and lightly wiggle the edges to make it blend easier. Next I'm taking another Jessup brush. This is... Uh, 237 detail detail shader and I'll take the shade uh, shamrock I had a vote in the Mrs. Patreon uh, chat in 
telegram yesterday which palette to do next 30 which is this one or the midnight and actually midnight one but i decided to do earthy because i had been already thinking the look that i'm going to do with this and then uh, because my previous video of this one was the pink rush cosmetics lucid dream palettes which has purples and greens not blues but you know quite a um, similar kind of color story so i didn't want to put uh, two same color looks uh, with the, not same color but similar color story looks right uh, after the pink rush cosmetics video then i'm taking another chest of brush this is 230 lux pencil and i'll take the shade apple And then another Chessa Prost, this is 223 Petit Eye Blender and the shade Trams. He's coughing so much again. I'm sorry you have to listen to that, but I was kind, I filmed only well, I filmed more than one video last week, but uh, like makeup video only one last week. Today is Monday. Uh, was the uh, Beauty Bay Berries palette. Then I did the whole video and then I filmed me uh, my glitters. I filmed a little bit of the uh, where I put the them from the backs to the I'll go through the set again from the bags to the uh, jars and then after that I showed all the ones that I had already in the jars but I have many still to go but I haven't I I, I don't have the jars for that yet they are on their way so I ordered I didn't order enough at the first time. First I thought I would film the whole process of putting them, them to the jars from the bags, but... And I did film all that, but... <laughs> I had footage for like two hours, so I figured no one has time to watch that long video and i didn't even put half of the glitters in the jars yet so so i showed just a little bit of the that process and then i'll just show all the glitters from clothes in the jars and then probably when i get my new uh, storage system this one uh, then I'll probably film me organizing those both uh, because, yeah, well, I need to do some organizing.
So um, I do always my makeup from the darkest to the lightest shade. Then uh, many people say that with this formula you have to do it that way. You can't layer them like starting with the lightest one. But I can't say anything about it because I haven't tried it that way. I'm going to do the cut crease now. I... Okay, the cut crease is on. So for the shimmers, I'm going to use first on the inner part, I'm going to use the shade Pixie and then the shade Lime on the middle. And for the outer part, I'm going to use the shade Wit, which is this dark one here. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with this kind of brush from Morphe. This is from the Eye Obsessed set, so it doesn't have a name. And I'll take the mint green and wet my brush. So for these shimmers, the uh, little bit fluffier brushes are better than totally um flat ones my mirror is so dirty i can't see anything and yes it took a little bit of building up this this uh shades work really best with the finger but since i do a precise job i need to Use a brush, but it builds slowly. Do I have a mirror in front of you? I'm sorry. So like that. And then I'll take this kind of gesso flat brush with this little fluffy, fluffy this is 234 looks smoky shader. And I take the shade Lime. I was actually a bit surprised uh, that this doesn't really have like an, you know, like a true grass green shimmer. Uh, I was a bit like, what? So I have, I'm so sorry. Little learning curve. And then I'll take the shade with, with the same brush, just flipped it over. Then I'll of course do some cleaning and do the black liner that I have on the other side, but I'm not going to do it on camera. So here you saw how the shadows perform and now I will go finish my makeup and I'll come back with the finished look. Okay, here is the finished look today. Um, uh, I thought it needed something more, so I added a um, NYX Glitter Glow Golds, uh, just silver. What's this called? I'm not sure, but just silver glitter liner to the edge of the cut crease. And then I did a black wing, 
with a uh, KVD tattoo liner. Uh, for the lips I used NYX uh, lip pencil in the shade Nude Pink. I colored my whole lips with it and then I covered it with Lip Love lip gloss in the shade Coffee. It's this kind of brownish. Brownish lip gloss. Earrings, no idea where they're from. Probably just some drugstore. So about the palette, I really like it. Uh, let me say, for the under eyes I used... Um, wait, what did I use? I used Apple. Apple and then Trans. But yeah, I really like this palette. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that it doesn't have really like a really uh, like real grass green shimmer. The shimmers, there's like mint green, there's like a yellowy green, there's like a crunchy green. There's this very dark that I used my outside corner and then these two in the top row called Sage and Frost. These two, this one and this one. They have pretty dark base too. And then of course the lower part of the palette, they are uh, more neutral. Neutral shade and the red. So yeah, that's that was a little bit disappointing for me. For me, but otherwise the mats blended well. They were pigmented as always in a beauty bay. I had to build up a bit of the shimmers um, because I use brush. If you use finger, they they work very well. But you can also use brush as you saw. Just I just like to uh, wet the brushes uh, with the shimmers and the little bit fluffy brushes. Uh, not straight up flat brushes, but a little bit fluffy brushes like this one from Beauty Bay. It's like flat, but it's fluffy. This is their Hey Shorty. Work better with their shimmers than uh, totally flat brushes like this one. But yeah, uh, the shades are beautiful and I'm happy that I got this palette. Of course, green isn't isn't uh, my favorite color, especially this kind of like primary green or crunchy green either. But yeah, this was, um, yeah. If you like this color story, then go ahead and buy it. It's really worth it. The price is very good with these palettes, and and they are very good otherwise too. So yeah. I really recommend this palette with this first impressions, of course. Of course, I will do a video with um, a more looks done with the palette, the real review of the palette too. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new upload. And we will see you next time. Bye!